So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem Hey beautiful creatures, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith My name is Amy and I'm so glad to have you I hope you guys are doing well Today I'm doing a pick a card all about How do you trigger people? And who are you triggering? So this is going to be a really interesting reading and I'm really excited. I'm using some new cards that I've gotten and uh, those are actually the face cards here that you can see. Now keep in mind this is a general reading. It's a general session. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private readings and sessions, all that information and my social media is down in the description box below. So a little sidebar here, a lot of you guys who've been watching my channel, some of you guys who are new, uh, to let you know, I have extracted all my teeth because they were damaged due to autoimmune disease. And so I have a little bit of a lisp go going on. It, it's not as bad as it was, but it's still something I'm having to overcome. So I hope you will bear with me while I'm waiting for my dentures to come in. So I'm really excited about that. Anyway, uh, if this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? I have missed you so much and I'm so happy to be able to read for you today. So with that said, let's kind of get into the cards here. So the first card also has a stone, the first group. These are all pre-drawn cards. Oh, I will be getting uh, charms and letters at the end of each session. So you can find out more about who you're triggering. It may be somebody in your environment that you know. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the stone here is a kunzanite. Kunzite. Kunz I'm probably not saying that right, you guys. Let you guys know I'm... I'm not good at pronouncing new words, but anyway, <laughs> uh, this is Kunzite, and um, the card here is the Kitchen Witch's Oracle. I think it's made by the same people who uh, made my favorite deck, one of my favorites, is the Witch's Wisdom. So I'm really excited to get this deck, um, and I'm excited how it's going to come out in the reading. So the next one is uh, a Citrine. Um, and the, the face card here is going to be from the Archetype Oracle deck. This is a huge deck, and I'm really excited to have it. I think it's going to provide a lot of insight on who, you know, is, you're triggering and why and all that stuff. So, And the third one here is the True Love Oracle. And uh, this is a really lovely deck as well. I'm really excited about it. And the stone here is the, the green adventuring. I, I think all adventurings are green. But anyway. All right. So what I'll do, um, as I always do, I will insert a little video, photograph, whatever, uh, for you to take your time to select your card or or the cards or the stones that you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one, there's probably a message in more than one for you, so just keep that in mind. I will see you beautiful, magical creatures on the other side. Bye, guys. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can have me doubts, not what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now You don't wanna fuck with me a slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah 
Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my fucking mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots I thought you get big boss, you get yachts You swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up shit, I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it, I'll make it, I promise You don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now Hey group one, all of you that selected this uh, Kids Night, this is going to be your reading, or you were drawn to the Kitchen Witches uh, Oracle deck, this is going to be your reading all about who you're triggering and why, how you trigger people. So let's get into it. Let's see the cards that came out for you. Put your little stone there. Okay, we have Fortify. How do you trigger people? Who are you triggering? Okay, let's see. We have forgiveness. We have Lilith, thief of life, hunger, animalism, instinct. Damsel, light attributes, understanding the nature of healthy romance, inspires you to rely on yourself. Shadow attributes, waiting for a night to provide for you. Seduction by romantic illusions. And we have hermit. Light attributes, seek solitude to focus intensely on inner life. Serves personal creativity. Shadow attributes, withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others. Refusing to help those in need. Okay, I'm going to move these a little closer right now. Kind of, I'm getting this vibe here. Trying to hone in on it. Okay. We have Calling the Storm. Uh, we have Life's Purpose. Crop Circles. Messages, Curiosity, Signs. I scry my cards as well, so I touch them a lot. I know some people aren't used to that, but... Okay, here we go. Here is the tarot. This is from the Haunted House Tarot. I believe this is the Emperor. This is the star, I believe. I'm still learning these cards, and I read intuitively, so... And... Wow, this is a beautiful card. Look at all the owls on here. I think owls are going to be a sign for you. There's something about owls here for you guys. Um, and this one, I believe this is the Page of Swords. Then we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, I get a lot. Why I got the Haunted House um, tarot deck is for me it's like an oracle deck and it has really powerful imagery 
Um, and I'm feeling a lot of interesting energy for you guys. Um, I feel like you trigger people, first of all, because you're very attractive with this dam damsel card. I feel like you... Um, you trigger people's jealousy over how you look. And if it's not how you look, then it's how you carry yourself. It's like how you are in the world, okay? Uh, you make people uncomfortable because I feel like um, if you're not aware of your attraction, they don't know how you couldn't be aware of it, okay? Because to them, it's plain as day, all right? Um, and I feel like there's a lot of judgment here with the Hermit card. Um, and I feel like maybe they feel like maybe you judge them because of your, your attract, how attractive you are. Like maybe you think you're better than other people, but I don't really get that from you. I think that's because people don't really know you with the hermit card. Like you don't, you, I feel like you have a personality when you meet people. It's almost like you're an introvert, but when you're, an, when you're around people, you become kind of an extrovert, but you still have that introvert kind of energy where you don't let people in people think they know you but they don't they only know a part of you okay and it's it's not that you're hiding it from shame or something like this i feel like you are just uh you're just cautious about who you let in to your reality and i feel like um some of these people it's interesting because i feel like some of these people like want to be popular with you like with this this card right here, I'm getting like this energy coming towards you, like sending messages towards you. But there are people who want to reach out to you because, and some of these people are jealous, but they want to be in your energy, okay? Um, they're triggered by you, and it's almost like they're moving towards that triggering mechanism. And um, I feel like you have, okay, this is what I'm getting with this card. I feel like you have this energy around you. I feel like there's a couple of people you've triggered, and you're here doing your beautiful thing, being your beautiful soul, working on your beautiful life. And even if, if it isn't beautiful, people get this idea from you that it is it is beautiful, okay? Um, and they're jealous. Now, I'm also getting another energy right now, and it may be because of the second energy I'm feeling here. Um, I'm feeling like there is someone in your energy, this is the energy that's probably wanting to come forward, that's triggered by you because they want to help save you. Oh man, you guys, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing or not, but it's like this person wants to come in and help you. There's something about maybe your situation that makes you look or appear vulnerable. And it's interesting because I feel this like, this not um, opening up as much to people uh, about what really is going on in your life, but you have told people a lot, uh, not a lot, enough uh, to make them feel like, I want to come in and help you. I want to help you. Um and uh, I want to say there's this knight in shining armor kind of energy I'm picking up on with the damsel here. You know, someone wants to come in and save you. So it's a lot. It's almost like there's confusing energy about you that triggers people. They don't know um, if you're like snobby because you're attractive and standoffish. Um, or when you're, you're with them, when they see your personality, they don't know. It's almost like they think they know you. And um, the reality is they don't, but on some level, they kind of feel that. They feel like maybe you're being a little fake and you're not. You're being completely sincere about how you are when you are with people. But I feel like for you, uh, being alone is really powerful. I think it's how you're probably empathic. Um, I feel like you need alone time to kind of uh, disconnect from people because I feel like you have... When you are with people, you give such a beautiful energy, like, and that's why they think it's fake, because few people really give this energy from a place of goodness. Usually there's a, a, um, ulterior motive, and maybe some people are feeling that for you. I, I feel that pretty strongly for several of you. Um, and I, I feel like with this forgiveness here, I just feel a generous heart, like you have a generous heart, and it's, I get this energy, especially with Lilith here, like, they don't know if you're real, okay? So, you know, really attractive energy, whether you think so or not, there's an attractive magnetic quality about you. When you're with people, around people, you know, I think you're very giving, you're very emotional, um, and I don't think you're really standoffish, but you don't let people past a certain area. You have really good boundaries, so you don't let everybody in anymore. Okay, and because of that, they feel this energy underneath you of like not being completely, you know, sincere about 
um, the energy between you guys. So it triggers them. They, they think you're fake. Okay. Some people are thinking, oh, this is like awesome. This is an awesome person. I want to come towards them. I want to message them. I want to take them to lunch. I want to get to know them. And for others, they're like, I think they're being fake. I think this is all fake. And this person has other ulterior motives for doing what they do. And uh, either way, they're triggered. Okay. Now, who, who are you triggering? Um, let's see here. I'm feeling with the North Node life's purpose. Okay. You're on your life purpose. For sure. I'm also feeling fire with this card. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. Um, and I'm feeling like uh, we have a lot of air energy here. Uh, so they could be an air sign. You could be an air sign. That's Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius. And I feel like there's someone in a position of power um, or they have power um, that wants to move towards you because they're triggered by you. Because if everything about you is as real as um, it appears, then um, there's something they want to talk to you about, okay? Uh, and it feels like it has to do with your life purpose. So maybe you've triggered somebody who is going to come in and help you with it. Um, maybe this new love, because uh, that's what I feel like this, this person who wants to come save you. They want to be a new love. Um, Maybe they're going to offer you something that's life-changing. But there's definitely this energy of uh, control here. I'm also picking up on this energy back here behind this gentleman um, who is watching. I feel like you're being watched. You're carrying the light now. You are magnetic and you're carrying the light. And people don't know whether to believe that what you present is real or not. And um, so they're watching. They're watching. And I think you are real. I think you're very authentic. I think you're beautiful. I think you have a warm heart. I think you're very giving. And people right now in our society aren't used to that. They're used to like people uh, messing each other over, people having, uh, trying to get over on each other, trying to steal, trying to copy, trying to uh, glean what they can from another parasitic energy. And the thing is, I think you're clear of any kind of energ energetic parasite. And I think that's why you are so magnetic. And because of that, people are watching you, okay? And you're triggering people. Some people are highly triggered and they think, you know, this Lilith card here comes out and, and we have this energy of like, um, they think that you have bad intentions, okay? Um, and they don't know what to think. You know, you're, you're, you're attractive, you're smart, you have a good personality, you're giving. This all can't be true. What they don't realize with this card is you've been through it. You have absolutely been through it. And it took a lot to get you to this energy uh, today, okay? Um, they don't realize, like, how much crap you've gone through. I think you have been betrayed a lot. I think you have been taken advantage of your good nature. And that's probably what they're feeling, is, and that's causing them to question you, is because your good nature has been taken advantage of one too many times. And because of that, you've learned with all these swords, you've learned up how... With all these swords here, you've learned how to put up really strong, firm, and good, healthy boundaries. Now, some of you guys are being a little bit overly cautious, but that's not a judgment here, okay? I'm just telling you, you might have to open up just a little bit, but there's no rush. You do it in your own time and um, your own pace. I feel like the energies watching you, triggered by you, are, are going to hang around. Let me just say something. There are people in your energy who will walk away because they're not sure if you're real or not and they can't tell because they're not trusting their instincts with you okay so if you have some people walk away from you some friends or whatever don't freak out you know they're triggered by you and what's happened is is that you've actually done the work you were meant to do with them you've triggered them you've triggered something about them maybe they look at you and they don't realize everything you've been through and you know you're attractive you have this great personality you're warm you're giving and uh, it's triggered something in them because you showed them a mirror of possibility within themselves you've showed them that there's more to life than getting over on people what they think is going on with you is actually going on with them and you have you are fulfilling your soul contract with them i don't like that because it feels forced the contract feels forced the, the word but this isn't a forced situation this is a situation where souls and previous incarnations and previous lifetimes together before they incarnated agreed on certain things and the the timelines and the realm of possibilities lined up to where you guys met and you catalysted them by triggering them
um, by the, you showing them that there's more to life, that you can heal and overcome. Um, and I feel like people don't know your story, but it's just an energy you give. It's very healing. And it's very catalytic. And it's hard to be a catalyst. It's hard to be judged for what people see on the outside. You know, it's hard to be judged for people who think you're being fake with your heart. And I feel like you're really, really um, very genuine. So now we're going to get some letters and charms for you guys. So. Okay, group one, this is going to be your letters and your charms. First of all, I'll read off the letters. We have V, C, V, F, A, M, A, K, O, X, T, M, K, F, N, J, L, S. Now, this could be your initials, their initials. It could be a screen name. It could be like we have fam here. That's a word. You could have family, a cousin or something like that or a friend who's um, wondering what's going on with you. Like, I feel like you've risen. There's so much air energy here. Uh, you may be an air sign or the person that is triggered by you may be an air sign. We have butterflies. We have witches. We have... Um, we have bats as well. And I'm just feeling like there's a lot of energy really around you right now, paying attention. I think you're weaving your web of creation. I think you're working on manifesting bigger and better things in your life. And I feel like um, there are messages coming through for you. Owls are coming up for me. Uh, yeah, owls. I'm feeling owls here as well. I'm feeling like the energy around you, your guides want you to know that you need to focus on uh, what you're trying to do. You need to renew your focus and vision as well. Hang in there, okay, with this uh, hang skeleton here. Um, it, it's not over. Whatever, I think you guys may be losing um, hope in something and don't do that, okay? We have a spider and we have a web, okay? It's being created for you. This is a manifestation. I think you've been working on it with the elephant for a long time. This has been a transformative event in your life. And I feel like for you, um, this is just a side message. I feel like for you with these two skulls like this, I'm feeling like there's a twin or an important soulmate around you. They're in your energy right now. They may be this energy that is considering coming forward. If you're with somebody, that might be what's keeping them from going uh, forward. You have a energy about you that is, and I want to say royalty, but it feels spiritual. Like it feels like a spiritual evolution has taken place. And what's happening is you don't realize how attractive you are because this is a side effect of the work you've been doing okay it's a side effect and what you don't realize is that love is coming for you if you're with your person and you feel this is your person I feel like it's going to get deeper if you're not with your person I feel like there's someone bringing a love offer to you uh, I have a starfish here I'm feeling like because they see you as their, their star their shining star okay and there's something very mysterious with all this moon energy here about your nature Okay, um, and I feel like we have another cross here. I feel like uh, they're just having faith that you guys are going to align. All right. And um, I'm feeling like I'm getting a message here. This is very this is a very specific kind of channel message, but there's messages in the wind. So listen to music and it'll come through like uh, music frequency. Someone may say something. I feel like someone uh, really an issue with their throat chakra. I feel like they're having trouble coming forward and telling you some things they want to tell you. This may be your partner wanting to deepen your connection. Maybe they felt a little disconnected from you as you've been going through this huge process of transformation. I feel nine of ones energy here. I feel like you've been through it. You've been determined and you've been focused and you don't realize that while all this other stuff is going on, while you've been digging deeper into your life purpose, you have been, been becoming more attractive, more handsome, more beautiful, more magnetic. And it's a really beautiful energy. So, all right, group one, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day. And I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey group two, all of you that were drawn to the Citrine Crystal or the Archetypes Oracle deck, this is going to be your reading all about who is triggered by you and why. So stay tuned to the end because I'm going to get uh, charms and initials as well. And I have new charms, so I'm really excited about that. So let's get into these cards that we've drawn here and uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, we have Samaritan, Light Attribute. Refine your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Uh, shadow attribute, expect, exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Okay, all right. 
We have uh, the Prince, light attributes, romantic charm and potential for power, shadow attribute, using power for self-aggrandizement. Okay. Uh, child nature, light, we probably want to see that, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, we have child nature, light attributes, friendship with animals, communication with nature spirits, shadow attribute, tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. Okay. All right. I've got a certain kind of energy I'm feeling. Okay. Let's keep going here. Earth element, stability. Shadow self. Hiding your true self. Okay. They think you're being fake. I'm getting that right away. We have yin and yang. I got a little bit of that with the first group, too. Uh, they thought you were being fake. There's more here to that than, than that, though. We have Golden Empress, Jewel of Abydos. The Radiant Lord, Wisdom, Paternalism, Kindness. And we have Caution. Some people don't think you give from a good place. They think that, that you are up to something. And you, you trigger people by that. You always you also trigger them by how giving you are. I think you make people feel guilty and bad about it. Like, not on purpose. This is not on purpose. It's just like you're so giving and so... Um, you probably do a lot for charity, right? Um, if not, you're very charitable with people. Maybe you're the person who always brings donuts to work or something like that. And p these people are triggered because you, you do good things for people. And... They think you have an ulterior motive. This could be at work, okay? This could be somebody at work or within your family. Like somebody saying, oh, well, you're going over and, and mowing auntie's yard because you're trying to get in good with auntie because you want money from them or something like that. So these people think that you're not really being a good Samaritan, that you you have other motives, like, like you have a motive for power. I feel like you're a powerful individual. You could be a Scorpio here. Um, I'm feeling that energy center. So I'm feeling like you probably have it. If not a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you have it somewhere or some aspect with with uh, Pluto or Scorpio that's very powerful in your natal chart. Um, and I feel like because of that, you're very deep. And you're very cautious about who you spend your time with and who you tell things to. I feel like you aren't really forthcoming about like your personal um, issues or personal feelings. And because of that, people, people pick up on a hidden motive from you. Okay. But really what's truly going on with you is that you are in balance. And even though people feel like you're hiding your true self here, you're in balance. You are, um, you've balanced out your masculine and feminine energy. You've done a lot of shadow work. And sometimes when we've done a lot of shadow work, we trigger shadow work in other people. Okay, we trigger them to kind of go deeper. I think you have a beautiful nature about you with this childlike nature. I think a lot of you guys may be psychic um, or highly empathic. Some of you guys, I'm getting like medical empaths, like medical psychic. Like you know when someone's sick, you know when someone has parasitic energy, you know when someone doesn't believe you. I think you've been surrounded by maybe people in your family or at work. This is like a group that you have been connected to. So it could be a friend group. It could be a group online. It could be work. It could be family. Just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. Okay. But I feel like you have a empathic ability with Scorpio. You may, you know, be involved in the occult and things like that. And you're very knowledgeable. You kind of know what you're doing here. And um, you've done the shadow work and you are triggering other people because you are glowing in so many ways and they can't figure out, um, they can't figure out this powerful energy is what I'm getting. Like you have a lot of powerful energy and I don't think you realize it. And your gifts are growing and people feel it. They energetically feel it. And so you're able to hone in on pe who's being a parasite with you, who has uh, not good intentions. And what's funny is they they feel it and so they don't trust you. So it's like, it's like you mirror. Maybe you do return to sender energies like return to sender spells or intentions, and they feel that. They feel the energy they put towards you as far as parasitic, as far, as far as like having other motives. So I feel like when people do good things for you, a lot of times you don't trust them. 
Um, and for the people who have good intentions, it's very triggering because you call to question their authenticity. And sometimes when we do that a lot with people, they start to feel like you're not trustworthy. And um, I'm getting that here. Like there's an issue here where people don't feel comfortable trusting you. Um, and it's because you don't trust others. And there are reasons why you don't let people in. You have, I picked up on this in group one. You may have been drawn to group one, um, but I feel like you just, because the shadow work you've done, you're very cautious about other people. Because I feel like the shadow work, you may be doing it now, but um, has made you aware of the people in your environment that are parasitic. Who have not been good to you and because of that it's like you've reshuffled your cards okay that's what I'm getting like you've reshuffled your cards and because of that you are more aware your spiritual awareness has ascended in a way and you become more aware of the people around you who do not have good intentions who are parasitic and spirit is guiding you now to be cautious around those people so they feel the energy of you pulling back and it triggers them they just they're, they're just like, why are they doing this? They've changed and you have changed. When you do shadow work, you change. It's part of the process. It's part of what happens. Okay, we have the 10 of wands here. I'm pretty sure of that card. I'm kind of reading these haunted house uh, tarot deck as oracle cards. Okay, so um, we have the ace of swords here. We have the, hmm, it's a one wands here i'm feeling the knight of wands here i'm not reading reversals this is the eight of swords and we have i feel i feel like this is a chariot here so i feel like you're going places okay and you may not see with this eight of um eight of it's not swords this is wands okay uh this is wands this eight of wands here i feel like you're in rapid alignment and you're moving forward you're balancing out your energies with the yin and yang and you're going forward and you're having a breakthrough uh you've really stood in your power and it, when you stand in your power it absolutely triggers people look at this look at this ten of wands card here Look at this. She's on fire. And that's energy, not gender. Uh, this person is just on fire. You have burned away so much. I'm feeling Phoenix energy. If you haven't seen my Phoenix, um, my Phoenix pick a card, that might be for you. I'm feeling group three um, may resonate for you guys. Um, but what I'm getting here is that like you have transformed. There is a major transformation here. And you are just being, um, you're allowing this inner light to shine. And people just don't know what to think about it. And you're pulling back from people and people don't know what to think about that either. You're getting stable. You're getting more stable. People aren't used to you being more stable. And not only are you being more stable, you are being your authentic self and it is triggering people. I'm telling you, there is nothing more triggering with a relationship than when someone moves towards their authentic self. They remove a mask. And it's like, you are aware of the parasitic energy around you, so you trigger it. And uh, the more that you connect with your ability to do this, I feel like the more cautious you're going to be about who's in your energy. And you should. Not everybody deserves your energy, man. Not everybody deserves uh, your attention, okay? Not everyone's for you. And I think you're aware of that now. I think there may have been, I feel like there may have been a time where you felt like everyone around you had good intentions. Like you always saw the good in people. And that's a great thing to do. But in reality, not everyone's for you. Some people do have different intentions, okay? And many times when we have this, inner, I feel like you have an energetic shield around you that kind of returns energy directly to someone. And so what they what they don't realize is this um, energy of not of not being sincere or um, of of almost lying, you know, is actually them. The parasite is them, and it's being mirrored back to them, and it's very energetically catalysting. So you may have people around you who, the longer they're around your true self, the longer they're around your authentic voice, they're going to get more and more heavily triggered. So I feel like you guys need to be careful about, about fights with people, um, just because I feel like emotionally... Um, there's a lot of, so I'm feeling swords energy. Like I'm seeing, instead of these ones, I'm seeing like eight swords come, come towards you. I feel like they don't know how to communicate with you anymore. It's like they don't know who you are. And the truth is you're revealing who you are. You're in balance. Your masculine and feminine energies are in balance. And instead of, uh, 
thinking about the issues. Now you're doing something about the issues. And as you do something about the issues, people around you are heavily triggered. And this is because um, not only are you having a breakthrough, they're having a breakthrough moment. And it really is one that they can choose to either go deeper into their own shadow and heal, or they can live in denial and this kind of parasitic, narcissistic, destructive energy will continue to churn. And that's why you are being guided by your, your guides. I'm seeing guardians as well. You may have some guardian energy around you uh, to be more cautious about the people around you. For some of you, there's somebody at work who is gunning for your job, okay? Because they think you're fake, uh, straight off. They think you're fake, they think you're a snob, and they don't like you. It's personal, it's not based on your work, okay? I feel like for some of you, this is a close worker, someone you work with closely, or this is a supervisor, okay? Some of them feel like you're gunning for their job, straight up, okay? And you need to be careful. Uh, some of you guys need to look for another job because um, potency here, you're just becoming stronger. You're becoming your authentic person. You are authentic. And because of that, you need to be in work that, that feeds your soul, okay? And helps you go more deeply into your authentic self. Now, for some of you, that's a side hustle. I'm not telling you to quit your job, okay? We all need to eat. And right now, money is tight for a lot of people. And so, but there may be a side hustle that feeds your soul that will help you deal um, in a way that is more healthy for you with this energy. You'll be able to make more choices as you bring more funds into your life. Um, and so for some of you guys, that's a side hustle. Um, and, uh, I feel like it's important because I feel like you're a sensitive soul. That's part of this caution. That's part of the shadow work. You understand how sensitive you are. And because of that, you're being asked to be more cautious and listen to your voice within. Listen to your guides, okay? Um, I think you get your heart broken a lot. I think for all the strength I'm seeing here, you're very you're emotionally vulnerable still, okay? You're still healing. And we can have the biggest and best boundaries. But the truth is when we get our feelings hurt, all those boundaries fall, you know, and we feel vulnerable. And it might lead you back to shadow work, which, you know, if, it call, if you're called to go back to shadow work, then do it. Because I feel good things coming from your shadow work. Um, the ability to overcome huge obstacles. I feel like you've already overcome some obstacles. There may be like a mountain range uh, uh, before you that you feel like you need to overcome. And I get that. I feel that on a personal level. I've been there. Just know that you got this. You, you have the determination and drive to get over it. Okay. So if you're driven to do more shadow work. You know, don't close yourself off from it. I know it's hard when you've been doing it a lot, but I'm feeling there's balance coming for you. And people feel this. They feel you getting stable, okay? They feel you getting stable. And I'm Spirit is calling me to point something out to you. This, this, this is a nice car, okay? This is a nice car. This person has a chauffeur who's driving their chariot, okay? Good, abundant things are coming for you. And I feel like a lot of you just need to make some adjustments in your personal life with the people that you share your energy with. And I think you know that. And they have been triggered. Most of them have already been triggered by you. They're they're upset because they feel like they don't know you anymore. Okay? And they don't because you're being who you were born to be. You're, you're being more of yourself. And it does make other people uncomfortable. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And it does change relationships. When you walk into the power of your authentic self, your relationships change. It's just part of the deal. Okay, let's get some letters and charms for you. All right, group two, this is going to be your letters and your charms. So I'm just going to read off the letters for you. Now, this could be your initials, a name. It could be the person's initials. It could be where you work. It could be a group. It could be the initials of a group. Just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind, okay? Um, let's see, we have the... I want to say zero. It's O A I K D A V O J K V Y F G L. I had a little brain moment. Okay, so let's get into these initials. Okay, so big hand. I'm feeling a hidden hand. I'm feeling like they think you're being sneaky. There are people who think you're being sneaky. Okay, uh, you need to watch out for this parasitic energy. I'm feeling it very strongly. Like they're trying to get their hand in your business. So uh, this is somebody who I feel is nosy. Okay, they're going to ask, they may ask you uncomfortable questions about what you've been through. And understand that's their parasite that's talking. They're trying to get dirt on you. Um, for This feels job 
or a group uh, someplace, if it's a group, I feel like you might be a moderator or something like that or forming a group or something like that. It feels like online, maybe offline, but mostly online here. We have the giant bat. We have the witch, another bat here, a lot of air energy. I'm just feeling like buzzing, buzzing, like people talking about you, people talking gossip. Um, yeah, you may have people gossiping about you uh, and they're very triggered by you. They're triggered by your strength here, but you're going places. Uh, we have this little... This little pumpkin coach here, you're going places, you're doing things. Uh, the spider here is going to be a sign of alignment for you. There's something else going on for you. If you feel drawn to some kind of side hustle, do it, okay? Because I'm feeling with the pumpkin coach. The pumpkin is a sign for me of harvest. So you're going places, you're moving towards your harvest here. We have a cat here. Hang in there. That's what I'm getting. I got this with the this charm earlier with the uh, group one as well. And I feel just this a lot of energy around you chit chatting. So be aware people are talking about you. Be aware. Um, be cautious who you tell people the things going on in your life that are none of their business. Okay. I don't feel like and I feel like you may know who this is, okay? Um, you're picking up on their parasitic energy, and this reading is to is to validate what you're being told, okay? Go with your internal guidance, all right? You're you're being you're being guarded. You're being guided to knowing more about the energies around you. That's part of being an empath. That's part of being a psychic. You have to learn to pick up on the people around you and the energy around you. You're going to get to the point where you can like literally see somebody like walk towards you or feel their energy coming towards you and you know their intentions. And because of that, you can come off very Queen of Swords energy, like cut them off, like not have room for them because you know they're parasitic. Like you know they don't have good intentions. That can be very triggering. So what I'm getting here is the people who are talking about you, as you continue to hold your boundaries very strongly, they're going to be more heavily triggered, okay? So this is, I'm feeling this energy of like seven, uh, seven of Swords here of like gossip about lying about you and things like that. So just for those of you where this feels like a job and you resonate with that, be careful. For those of you in groups where you, you know, talk to people and you have friends and things like that, be aware, okay? Because I feel like this one person here, this one energy talking to a group of people, just they they are jealous of you, okay? It, this is envy uh, at a deep level, and it's because they don't feel worthy. They don't feel worthy. And uh, how they're trying to make themselves feel worthy is by parasiting off your energy, okay? All right, group two, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you think about this reading. And uh, I appreciate you being here. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that selected the adventuring or were drawn to the true love oracle card, this is going to be your message all about why do you trigger people? How do you trigger people? And who are you triggering? So save the end because I'm going to get some letters and some charms and we're going to find out a little bit more about the person or persons you're triggering and why. So let me put your little crystal here <clears throat> and we'll get into these cards. So the first uh, card we have in the True Love Oracle is Manifestation. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah, people, people see you producing things, okay? They, they see things aligning for you. Okay, we have Galactic Federation, Collaboration, Meetings, Community. Okay, this feels like online. Maybe your social platform is growing. Maybe you're just happier with the stuff you're posting. Um, but you're definitely triggering people online, okay? We have uh, Jinan, the maid. Guardian of Saints, Humility, Disillusionment, Champion. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot of different energy here. So you could have several people. This could be a group of people. It could be a social group. Um, we have Colorless Angel, 10. Okay. Uh, we have the Black Flower Fragrance. Protection, Salt. I'm hearing Salt of the Earth. We have solar eclipse, revolution. Ooh, yeah. I feel that you are have, like, you inspire people. Um, and you have a revolutionary energy. I think that you are a change maker. I think you have grown to become, I feel like you've grown to become 
unafraid of change. You've learned to embrace change. Uh, we have provoker. I think you provoke a lot of people online. Um, and it may be the things you say or the way you look or both. I see here people are watching you. They're looking at you. They're looking at your photos. They're taking in what you're saying. And they feel that you are a champion. I think there may be a cause or something that you aligned with very strongly. And you speak about it you speak about it. And because of that, it's really helping you manifest a lot of really good people and good things in your life. However, I feel like there is an element around you that doesn't have good intentions. And um, it's coming from the fact like uh, they used to feel like they were close to you, but they're not anymore. Um, or this is somebody who uh, has some issues with depression. Maybe you've had some issues with depression and there are still people in your energy that have like a negative attitude and they can be, it can be rubbing off on you and they're a little, well, they're a lot triggered by triggered by this champion energy, how you've overcome. They may feel like you you make it look easy and it's not easy to overcome they may be somebody who's judging you and feeling like oh well you're not being authentic about depression or whatever this is i'm using depression as an example uh but there's i feel like there's an energy that you've really overcome here and there's just a lot of people are of hateful energy around you like people maybe who have followed you for a while and they're watching you kind of move into this champion energy and you're man you're starting to really manifest things they're seeing changes maybe you've gone from being like withdrawn and not feeling good about how you look online or how you look in general or how you present yourself maybe you've really been in kind of a depressed state and you've you've worked through it or you're working through it or you're dealing with it and it's really sparking a revolution of change within you and people are seeing that and it's making them uncomfortable it's provoking them the grand cross provoker Okay, you may have this in your chart. You may have a grand cross, okay? When you have one of these, you are a change maker with this revolution card, whether you like it or not. There may be something about the way you present yourself uh, that provokes people. It may be the way you dress. It may be the way you speak, the words you use that provokes people. Um, and it may be your beliefs. Maybe you have outside of the box beliefs and it really radically provokes people. Like people radically disagree with you. I feel like you have an energy about you that like either people love you or they can't stand you. And it's very triggering. And I, I'm not judging you. Hey, you know, we all have... Uh, shadow and light attributes right and I feel like I feel energy of Taurus I feel energy of Virgo and Capricorn here I feel like um when you when you get into a cause uh, air energy as well um and fire so there's a lot of energy here uh, not a lot of water though <clears throat> And I'm feeling like when you get into a cause or a thought or the, you may be championing yourself and you're, you you speak boldly. I feel, I think the words you use are very bold and, uh, and I feel like on some level you know that you're provoking people and you're doing it on purpose. For some of you guys, you're doing it for views or whatever. And hey, do you, you know, do what works for you. But for others, you're provoking people so that they can be catalysts to become their own champion. You're you're showing people how it's okay to be revolutionary. It's okay to think outside the box. It's okay to be different. A lot of people who are different, Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, magician energy, they provoke people, okay? A lot of revolutionary souls provoked a change in humanity and you may be one person that is part of that collective that's meant to provoke and trigger people um, and I feel like you trigger them to love you more as you love them or you trigger people to really not like your energy they and I'll tell you why they don't like it is because you're waking them up and some of them they want to sleep longer they don't want to wake up and those people will leave um, and here's the thing for you when you have haters around you when you have people throwing shade at around you know that that's because you're on the right track you're doing what you meant to come in this world and do and for some of you it's for, to take pictures and be online and show people who you really are because it inspires other people to be who they really are for others you have a message you have a bigger platform you have a bigger message to share and it may be kind of hidden behind this kind of wall of like um how you look I'm hearing illusion, you know, like people have to see past the illusion of how you look or how you present yourself. And that maybe, well, I feel like you designed that before you came here, that there would be some kind of wall or illusion that a person would have to get to to get to the deeper part, to not be angry catalyst.
to not be jealous catalyst, to not be triggered in a negative way, to be triggered in a positive way. And some people never get beyond that, okay? And it's by design because you're a revolutionary soul. You're here to help other people change. You're here to help change the planet. Change, I'm hearing change, change, change over and over and over. Like you have an energy about you where you could really help people evolve. You could help people ascend. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of creativity here. Some of you guys are like radical levels of artistry here like you have an artistic voice that needs to be shared with the planet listen creativity is a means of revolution okay why do you think that uh, many well in America anyway uh, we stifle creativity in in classrooms in school you know art isn't seen as something to you know really hold and hold space for children to connect with it's because it's powerful it causes change in people's subconscious it causes change in their consciousness art causes people to expand their consciousness and that doesn't mean just like painting this could be writing it could be pottery it could be um, material artists it could be all kinds of things it could be a business that you're very creative in finding ways to create it and let me tell you something when you create something from nothing it's because you're creative you saw a possibility where there wasn't any not everyone can do that I feel like you need to give yourself some kudos here because you guys are champions all right you are you have been through and paid your dues and I'm telling you your manifestations are going to be coming to you very soon <clears throat> um we have pioneer there we go boom pioneer revolutionary provoker you provoke people you trigger people because it's part of your life purpose to wake people up okay i feel like i'm yelling i'm sorry we have monk nun hey a lot of you guys you're you're here to do spiritual things you're here to share your wisdom whatever you've been through that has caused this champion energy you're meant to share it through art um through creativity through your business through your online presence, whatever this is, okay? Uh, we have Child Orphan. Okay, I feel like for you guys with this card, I feel like you've really been left alone. Like you may not have a lot of close friends. Your family may be very dysfunctional. You may come from trauma. And it, what has happened is <clears throat> you designed this before you came here because you're supposed to catalyst. You're supposed to be a revolutionary soul. You're supposed to be the champion, okay? Because you are gonna help show others how to do it, okay? You are an inspirational, <clears throat> wow, my throat chakra's trying to close up. Uh, you are an inspirational, revolutionary soul, okay? And while I'm getting here, just like I am keeping on task with my determination to stay open, you need to keep on task and stay determined to stay open to possibilities and to sharing more of the story, to sharing more of your creativity, and you are highly talented. I'm also hearing highly favored by the universe right now. Your luck is about to change, group three. I didn't expect this to come through, this reading, but you trigger people because you are you are a strong force in the universe. You are a revolutionary soul. You will provoke people, but you will also bring people to you. For some of you guys, your social media is going to blow up. I'm not saying it's going to blow up tomorrow, okay? But I am saying it's going to blow up, okay? We have, um, I'm hearing like with this card, I feel like I have something for you, okay? All right, I have something for you. Interesting energy here. I have something for you. Okay, someone wants to come towards you. I think because of this monk, pioneer, revolutionary energy, somebody wants to make you an offer. You've triggered somebody by your talent, by your ability, by your strength, by your strength here. Leo energy as well. And I feel like there's a manifestation of a connection here. There's somebody you've triggered powerfully. Like, you've helped to change their life. You don't even realize it. I feel like you, you, are, you make something very difficult look very easy. You do it with grace. You do it with elegance. And I, I, it's just, it's like, I brought you this key. She's holding a key and that's energy, not gender. I have the key. It's like you're facing a new doorway and someone's bringing you a key. Let's get more into this. Okay, this is the death card, transformation. You are transforming. And many of you guys are transforming in front of an audience of people. Okay, you're changing your life. You're moving towards your destiny. You are absolutely empowering and almost like i feel this energy of invoking this powerful revolutionary energy this provoker champion energy you are rising within the collective and you will be seen um, and i'm speaking this 
into your life. I'm speaking this on your life because you have a bold message to share. And it doesn't matter whether you literally like just have a little Instagram where you, you know, talk to your family or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I'm hearing is, is that even if this is not online, you have an ability or a talent that you need to get out there. Your voice needs to be heard. And more so, your frequency needs to be felt within our collective right now. A lot of crazy stuff is coming to the surface in society and humanity right now. And we need the provokers. We need the revolutionary souls. We need the monk, nun, pioneer energy. People who are going to boldly step forward and say, hey, this is how I did it. This is how I revolutionized my life. This is how I ascended within my life. That's how I, this is how I learned to champion myself. You can do it too, okay? Um, let's see here. What do we have? We have the three. Yeah, you've been through heartbreak. You've absolutely lost. I feel like you lost a lot of people. Um, this transformation here feels like um, you lost a lot of people. You've honed in on the parasites. You've honed in on those energies. And those are the energies that are the ones that are like hating, you know, and you may have people walk away from your social media and feel like, oh, I thought we were friends. Well, no, you weren't. They got what they needed. You got what you needed. And it's time to part ways. Okay. And for some of you, it will be very, it will, for some of you guys, it will be very abrupt. Okay. We have the nine of swords here. Yeah. I feel like you have spent time worrying about situations and other people. I think you've given a lot of energy to situations and other people. You may have been in a cycle of people pleasing Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here. And I feel like this heartbreak made you aware. It made you aware of the energies around you. It made you aware of your energy. I think you had to change a lot. I think you had to grow. I think this key is also a key that you took. You were given by a divine feminine energy. Okay, that might be around you. It might be a spirit guide or something like that. But a door was open for you. And what's happening is you may think that was the only door. No, 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 no. There are more doors coming and more keys, okay? You will meet people who will be key holders, who will help you along your journey. They may offer you, um, I'm getting like, they may offer you money, support. They may offer friendship or love. Um, these are people who will invest in you. And I feel many doors opening for you with this manifestation here. Um, and we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, this feels like the uh, wish fulfillment. Okay, this manifestation. All right. Now, people will grow jealous. Okay, I feel like for some of you guys with a monk nun card pioneer, you may be involved in the occult or witchcraft or something like that. You've actually worked magic to make this happen. And you have been worried about if it's going to prosper, if it's going to come. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, magic is real. Your magic is very powerful. You are a very powerful soul. Okay, and some of you guys are like, I don't know about that. Either. Yeah, you are. Okay, and you really need to accept it. You need to walk into the power of it. As you walk into the power of who you truly are, your manifestations are going to blossom. You are going to attract more people to your platform, to your job, to you, to your gifts, to your talents. You're going to be seen. This is someone who's seen. Okay. This is someone who's seen, okay? And with the monk and nun card here, I'm feeling like you're going to get people's trust, okay? Because they know with the orphan card, you have been through it, okay? You have been heartbroken. You have been betrayed. I think you've had someone who you really loved deeply betray you, okay? To the point where it transformed how you view people, okay? And I feel like you have felt very alone and very isolated. Many of you guys have learned how to protect yourself in that isolation. I'm feeling a hermit card here. Um, many of you guys have healed yourself in isolation. You have stopped um, the toxic behavior where you leaned on other people to validate you, to give you feedback. You started to say no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do me. I'm going to be guided by spirit. I'm going to be guided by my intuition. And I'm going to heal and learn to protect myself. And because of that, you have become so powerful. When you trigger people, what you don't understand is even when they walk away from you, they are still dealing with the triggers that you gave them. 
Okay, they're having to deal with their own issues, their own internal mechanisms. You triggered them so powerfully. I feel like you are unforgettable and you don't even know it. I feel like your energy is infectious and unforgettable. And if it, if you don't feel like it is right now, honestly, you're moving into it. You're manifesting this infectious energy where people feel healed. They feel guided. Uh, they feel happy and they feel blessed to know you. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of blessings flow because I feel like because you've been through so much, there's so much anxiety and fear that you've had to overcome you've had to champion yourself you've had to come over overcome trauma i feel like people really know that you know what you're talking about you're not just uh flying off the mouth here you know you have experienced these things you're an old soul i'm, I'm feeling uh past life energy come forward to tell you like you were a teacher gurus some of you guys have written uh books and grimoires some of you guys have written holy books you've been part of that some of you guys were involved in gnosticism some of you guys were in the templars some of you guys were in uh mon monastic orders within uh i'm seeing like thailand i'm seeing tibet uh japan china i'm seeing india um, I'm seeing some of you guys are Sumerian uh, high priestesses, Sumerian, uh, you're aligned with Sumerian god forms. Others of you, I'm feeling like Egyptian. I'm also feeling um, African religions, very strong presence of African religions and ancestors. Your ancestors are something. I'm telling you, they're I, I'm I about cursed. They, <laughs> they are so powerful, you guys. They are so powerful. Your ancestors, I'm seeing like giant... Uh, wooden carved idols, uh, God forms that are ancient. We're talking about the birth of humanity in this cycle. That's a whole other story. You probably know it. Uh, many cycles of humanity have existed, but these are the root of the world. I'm seeing foundations of the world kind of ancestors, and they could be Native American. They could be African. Uh, I'm seeing like Polynesian as well. So a lot of massively big energy is around you right now, and I'm feeling like they're coming forward through this particular reading to let you know that what you're being guided to do is your journey is the journey you chose like you are walking into authentic power okay and i feel like you're going to shake the pillars of the world you're gonna have to you're not gonna have to you're gonna set you're set up to help people with this revolution because the revolution is happening people are waking up now right now things are very chaotic and as I always say, before the ascension is your shadow work, okay? And that is what the world is going through. A deep, transformative level of shadow work. And you are here to trigger, to catalyst, to heal, to do all of it, to help humanity. And for some of you, you do this just by being in your true frequency, being creative, doing what you want to do, healing yourself, loving yourself. It helps the collective because you're so powerful. Okay, let's get your letters and some charms here and find out more about who you're triggering and any other messages that your guys have. I honestly, I feel them just so strongly around the table right now. I feel an energy over here and an energy over here. It's extremely powerful. Uh, and if you know, you know. Okay, some of you guys have roots in like, um, in like different uh, religions from Africa, like Voodoo, Santeria, things like that. There's also others that I, I don't know the names for. They're very connected to ancestors and to these wooden fertility idols. They're very big. I don't really know how to explain them um, because this is the first time I've seen something like this come through. It feels like a feminine and masculine energy. Um, and I, I don't want to miss, I feel a need to really respect these god forms okay um they cause me to have awe in their power and ability they're very healing and they're very empowering and they're coming forward to help this revolutionary energy walk in more power and more boldness okay okay group three these are going to be your letters and your charms okay i'm going to read off the letters here now this could be initials of like a god form goddess form um, an ancestor, an angel frequency. Um, this could be uh, initials of people around you, uh, screen names. It could be initials of where you work. Just just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. I'm going to read them off. We have A-I-X-I-W-V-K-M-H-S-M. -S okay. Um, massive energies. This big old hand here. Um, I feel like your ancestors are going to come through and give you a big old helping hand. I also get with this, uh, there's a lot of people who want to be in your, in your business. Okay, so just be aware 
you know, protect your energy. I think you already know. Um, and I feel like this hand is talking about you. Okay. Um, and with the bat here. I And I felt this for group two. You may be drawn to group two. I feel like there's like chatty energy around you. All right. But you're going places. Okay. You're definitely going places. And, um, okay. You need to be aware. This is a little devil here. I'm feeling like you need to be aware of your seductive nature. Okay. It's really important because I feel like it's confusing people. Um, and, you know, it's catalysting people. I think you may start coming more forward with, like, your attraction, your sensuality, uh, and it may confuse people, and that will catalyst them, okay? Some people may walk away, but what's going to happen is they're go there's going to be a lot of people who will respond to that. This is somebody who owns all of them. They own their sexuality, their attraction, their abilities, and their power. This is someone who is at home in the vessel. And you know what? To say that, wow, it takes a lot of energy to get there. We have two little devils here. We have two tridents here, okay? And I feel like for some of you guys, you know, you may have an alt, like a occult kind of belief system. Um, you may be into witchcraft. You may be into uh, left hand paths, uh, spirituality, um, and it, what people don't understand about that is that you've used that to help you heal, okay? You've focused a lot of that energy on yourself. It doesn't mean that you haven't healed other people or put out things that are helpful. It just means that you understand that for you in this particular lifetime, that those images, that energy is very powerful, and you were trying to catalyst your own powerful change. So you leaned into the things that felt right, no matter the judgment of others. For others of you, this is this may be like New Age or something like that. It may be ritual magic. You may just be leaving a, uh, a spirituality that didn't work for you. Maybe it's religion itself. Maybe you're walking away from a very uh, conservative religious view and you're walking more in your wild nature. Um, and, you know, you may be someone who doesn't directly believe in a God form. It may be more that you believe in energy, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, when you, you loosen up, like, your, I'm feeling like restriction on your belief system, it's like a whole new level of power rises for you in a knowing, okay? You're definitely a manifester, okay? Magician energy. You definitely can manifest. And I feel like you need to walk into it. There's also something here about 369. Some of you guys may understand the 369 um, vibration and how it works with the universe to help you manifest. So look into that, okay? I feel like that's just a special message for a few people. Um, and I feel like you, there's something you're guarding here, and I don't blame you, okay? I feel like you need to be aware that there will be this energy. I'm feeling like F person energy, okay? So I feel like people see you uh, and your attraction, and they may be drawn to kind of like hit on you a lot. You're going to have to get used to that. Just set up good boundaries. And, and you know it. Protect your energy. Because some people don't care about your spiritual message or your art. They just want that, okay? They just want to hit that. And I'm just being honest here. And so you're going to learn how to gauge who those people are. And um, actually, I'm feeling like your ancestors, these really strong ancestors are saying, allow that energy coming to come forward to you of people who, you know, may want you for those kind of things to help build your confidence. Take it as a shot of energy, okay, instead of a parasitic energy. Go ahead and use your abilities to manifest and with magic and things like that to kind of change the frequency of that from like a parasitic, you know, I want you, give me, give me, to like, I I love you, I adore you, you're awesome, you're so attractive, you're so hot, like, I want you. There's a difference in that energy and you can use that energy to help build your own confidence. You can also use it for art and things like that, all right? Okay, group three, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day, and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time.